All right, four ways of tying the clinch knot. The first way, we'll do it the old-fashioned way, by hand. No devices, no nothing. <clears throat> put, we'll just use this swivel, <clears throat> put it through there, get plenty of line to work with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just stay, stay with six. Put this back through the little loop at the bottom. And then an improved clinch knot. Nope, I didn't get it. Okay. I'm not an expert at knot tying. There are people who do this much easier than I do. But that's one of the reasons I invented the Captain Jay's Knot Aid, is to help people like me make it easier to tie. This is going worse than I expected. All right, now I'm finally through there. Up through there and then through this loop that we just made. Cinch it down. Tighten it up. And there you have a clinch knot by hand with the troubles that sometimes I run into, which is just working with that tag end. Okay. For the second method, we'll do it the same way, pretty much, but we'll use the Captain J to help us deal with that tag end. You get the tag end through the lure, tag end through the Captain J. There's a big eye of that needle. So now, instead of dealing with that little tag end, we can use the whole Captain J. And we're gonna do six turns, just like we did before. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see if we can get it through this thing any easier. Yes, we got it through. Got it through. Tighten it up, cinch it down. Here we have, and you can just pull that through to have your knot. So a clinch knot, six turns, traditional way using the Captain J. Okay, for the third way to do the Captain J, kind of an interesting, fun way to do it, and to use the Captain J to tie the clinch knot. I've seen other, I've seen this method that other little gadgets can do this, but Captain J can too. Again, put it through your lure, load the Captain J into single. Now, so remember we're using the Captain J to handle the tag end. Now you can just if you want to do this method without anything, you can just put a little weight on it because all you need to do is one, two, three, four, five, six. Twirl it six times. And my line is getting in my way. Then through the big gap. through the loop that you made, cinch it down. Twirl method of doing a clinch knot with the Captain J. Now the final way we're gonna tie a clinch knot is what I call the Captain J way. Third way it had kind of a twirl to it. This is going to have a wrap. And it's useful for this knot, but it's really useful for the uni knot. And look for that video. Also, 
because what you do here is you load up your Captain J, then you can just, so we're doing six turns is what we did. One, two, three, four, five, six turns. Pull that through, and there you have the makings of another clinch knot. And through, and through, and tighten it up. Clinch knot the Captain Way J. No, the Captain J Way. How about that? <laughs> Pull out that, clip off your tag end, and you got the Captain J way of tying a clinch knot. Four ways of tying a clinch knot. Uh, thanks for watching. You can see my website at capnjs.com. Or search Captain J's, so C A P apostrophe N, capital J apostrophe S, not AID, A I D E, on YouTube. Thank you.